Lambing has started. Say I am number one, sort of. Oh no, 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 no. <gasps> so Mama had four. Hi, little Debbie. We need to get this barn looking a little more festive. I bought our barn a new Christmas tree. It's like AstroTurf, it's terrible. Good morning. It is uh, the beginning of Vlogmas and um, did you guys like the intro? <laughs> Are we ready? Just you and me? We gave Chris the morning off, didn't we? Yes, Chris is much better and she actually had a function last night. Anyways, let's get to work. All right, before I get busy with chores, I just thought I'd give an update on the ladies. I'm pleased to announce that I was perhaps overreacting last week and we have lost no more lambs in the last, I think it's been three days? When was my last one? I think my last stillborn was uh, Wednesday, Wednesday night. So it's been Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's been four days and we're down to two days before these guys are due. So that's a good sign. That means whatever it was, um, we're, we're close to their due date now. Actually going through my footage, going editing that video, the last lamb that was stillborn that I caught coming out of mom, it did look a little deformed, like its legs looked really curved, which, which could definitely be a sign of Cache Valley, which is this, this time of year is when I really, really see it. Cache Valley is spread by mosquitoes uh, in like mid gestation, mid to late gestation, I believe and we did have some warm temps here in uh Octo october i think october september october there were some not a lot uh of warm temps but there were a few days so um i am keeping an eye and realizing that i do have cache valley uh potential but the one thing it didn't have was like a curved spine um, and I think I showed you guys that, but I didn't tell you what I was looking for. So anyway, that was my bad. We're gonna do some chores here. And then uh, do some organizing and getting ready for lambing, which is any day. There's a few in this group that are looking real, real close. So I think we're gonna be right on their due date. If not, maybe even tomorrow, but we'll see how they act when they eat. <laughs> Number one, sort of. Hi. You want to wait for mom right here? You wait right here. There you go. Okay, you go in there. Good. Go in there. Go right there. 
That's it. Well, we had our first lammy. Successful, alive, beautiful. So uh, the one thing is I do not have my kit ready. So I'm going to uh, quickly grab some iodine to dip that navel, uh, strip mom to make sure she has milk, and then let them bond. I'm not sure if she's gonna have another one. I may check for another one too, but lambing has started. We're two days early, but that's, that's fine. Well, you're a girl, hi. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Yeah. Uh-oh. You barely have another. You do not have another. Okay, she's got a little bit of milk. She has not really bloomed yet, so I'm thinking this is a preemie. So I am gonna supplement this lamb until hopefully her hormones start working and she gets an udder. You need an udder to have no milk. I'm gonna be your new best friend for a little while. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh yeah, that's about 100. I'm gonna say that's pretty good for starts. Yeah. Over here. I think you're done. I think you're a single child. Yes, I do. Hey, Ruby. Where's your friends? Hmm? You don't want to go outside in the rain? You're probably the smarter one. Tomatoes! Hey, lady. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Billy's mom. Marge, what'd you do with Big Mama? Here she be. Hey, honey. <laughs> what? You have trust issues. Come on in. Hello, ladies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. You've been so good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <gasps> no. 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 No, 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 no. Billy's mom, no. Billy's mom. Come on. Come on, honey. No. 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 Hi, honey. <gasps> Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, honey, are you okay? You're good, you're good. You're good, honey. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, was that scary? I'm sorry you haven't had any of those. You stay in here for a little bit, okay? You stay in here for a bit. Oh, my poor girl. All right, your friends are here. She has not done this for oh months that I've noticed. I think it scared her. So if you've seen uh, over this last year, um, I think I had a video. Mm, it was long before we moved her over here that I thought she looked like she was having some sort of neurological issues. I caught her a few times doing weird things like that, going back on her haunches. That's the first time I've actually seen her down and seizing. <sighs> She's been doing so good over here, like thriving. <sighs> Tomato, seriously. It's not about you. Are you good? She looks fine now. Interesting. I'm coming. No. with her.
Okay, well, that was unexpected. Uh, Billy's mom, I don't know what's going on. She seems okay now. She's been eating. She ate her hay. She ate some grain. She seems to be normal again. It, it's happened before, but I always caught her kind of at the end of it, so I'm never 100% sure is that what I actually saw. I'm not gonna bug Rex today because it's a Sunday, but I might text him tomorrow. I have, I obviously got the footage, not, not on purpose. So I might send him that little clip and just say, have you seen this before? I hope she just has these and she's okay, like today. My, um, my fear is that it happens to her, she gets casted, like she's on her back, cast, and she can't get back over. That's my fear. Um, so I'm glad it, it, it happened in front of me so I could help her if I needed to. Yeah, it's just, it's really sad to see my older, your, my older girls kind of start to fail. So I'm praying that this winter is okay on my heart and that these ladies are with me for a little while longer. But um, it's just a reminder that they are getting older and that they won't be here forever. Okay, it is time. I mean, my sheep are the ones that always have to remind me that it's time, but I have to get these organized. It's nice to have a lambing kit available when lambing is actually in full force. Okay, this is the first lambing kit that we really actually need. This is right when the lambs are born. So when the lambs are born, uh, well, sometimes I need to assist. So I need I need my OB gloves and then the little gloves that go like up to here. Uh, we need, I have the refractometer that measures the used colostrum. I would have used it today, but the mom barely has any colostrum. Uh, we have the little, uh, the little shooter cups. I use that for the iodide to dip the navel. That is recommended by my vet, but um, this we use because it will always ensure that it gets that very bottom tip of the umbilical cord completely saturated. And it's got such strong alcohol in this that it immediately goes to work and dries that tip out to uh, avoid infection going up that navel and into the animal. And then it usually, what it does, it'll create what's called joint, joint ill and it'll affect their joints. Um, so joint ill is something we've I've uh, been dealing with over the last few years, but since switching to this protocol, it's been barely any. So it's really working. I do see a difference. We have the resuscitator. We have some paper towel because uh, my hands are always disgusting, even without glo even when I do wear gloves. And then I do always have some lube. The only thing I'm missing is a syringe for the lube. So I will grab that too. So that is the lambing kit. This is the kit for at when they're about 24 hours, sometimes more when they're, they're in that lambing pen. Uh, so once I'm doing the record keeping portion of this, I put an RFID tag in their ear. Uh, that is actually required by law when the animal leaves the farm. I do it at birth just so I can keep track of all her data. Um, and then of course the applicator for that, they go in the ear. Uh, we have a, the tail docking, which is just rubber bands, and then the actual applicator there. We weigh our lambs, so there's a scale, a little fish scale and a carrier. I do have selenium in there. They get a quarter mil of, or a quarter cc shot. And then uh, I mark them with a paint can. And what I do is, depending what they are, so they could be red is single, blue is twin, triplets green and quads or more is purple. So that one that was born today, that'll be the number one lamb with the number one ewe. And then if they ever get separated and the lamb's going backwards, I can be like, what's going on? Well, mom is way down yonder, not even worrying about her lamb. Here's her lamb. I'm gonna put the two back together. So that's uh, just an easy way to identify lambs and mums. All right, these guys are filthy.
good. Right about there. Still dirty. I'm a little concerned that once lambing starts, it's gonna go quick. There's a few fun things I wanted to do today, but before the fun, we have to make sure everything is good to go for lambing. So I'm going to take a minute and grab the nanny and get it all set up because the thing with the nanny this time is everything needs to be winterized. So I have to take a bit of inventory, inventory on what, what she looks like right now, just because I know I dumped her. Uh, a couple lambings ago, and I think I crushed the uh, the light on the top. We are just setting up what is gonna be the bottle baby starter pen. So we're probably gonna start, it doesn't matter which one. And depending how many we have, I'm gonna leave, I'm actually gonna build a secondary pen here. And the plan, the goal here, I've been doing some thinking in the last week here, how I'm gonna do this, is I'm gonna lamb them on that side just because all my lambing jugs are along the wall. It's just easier for me. I, I'm too sore to keep carrying them over to this side and flopping them over gates and stuff so I'm gonna keep all the lambing on that side but what I'm gonna do is when they are 24 hours old and processed like these guys will probably stay in a little longer because they're the first but once I get enough uh, processed and we need the pens for new ewes that are lambing I'm gonna actually flop them into this pen and this will be the like the first big open pen for them this can be the starter pen and then we can actually open it up and have like kind of use it as two-in-one type of deal I can open up a gate and they can use both pens so I think that's what I'm gonna do this time instead of setting up pens here and then tearing them down moving them all over there I just think it's just easier letting this be the first drop pen there you go so starter pens and then this is just the bigger one that it'll expand into and that'll be all one big pen I think I'm finally feeling pretty good about where we are in prep for lambing. We got lambing kits ready. I have my bottle baby pen set up. I have some more lambing pens set up in case we have some overnight or yet this evening. Uh, it is getting later in the day. Not that you can tell with my beautiful exposure, but it is a dark gloomy day and it's raining outside. So I thought to cheer everything up uh, and to celebrate the beginning of Vlogmas, we need to get this barn looking a little more festive. And the birds have, you know, done a number on my lights from last year. Yes, I'm a redneck woman. I leave my lights on all year long. I should probably see if they work. Probably save myself some agony.
All right, we're gonna take a break from decorating and uh, feed a bottle. They're still sticky. Yeah. We didn't clean her up. Okay, update on consumption. It's been about, uh, I fed it at about 11.30, fed her at 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, so it's been four hours. And between the two feedings, we got about 225 mils into her. Uh, I'd like to get two more feedings into her before bedtime, just because I don't want there to be too many hours overnight that she's not got any food. But I mean, if I can get another another 200 in her before like 10 o'clock tonight that would be great because that's uh it's a good healthy dose for the first day so it is nice when a lamb if you do have a questionable mom for milk consumption it is nice if you have the lamb you know early in the morning and then i can measure how much it's getting throughout the day to know i don't need to be feeding it through the night if you know what i mean so um, and she very well might come into her milk. She, she does squirt some milk out, but it's very watery, does not look like colostrum, and her bag itself is not at all bloomed. Like, there's nothing there. So, um, I feel like she will come into her milk. I just, I feel like she will, but uh, we'll keep them together for a few days and we'll have to see. But that would suck if our first single born alive has to be bottle fed. That will be awful. So, fingers crossed that won't happen. One more thing before the day is out. And I bought our barn a new Christmas tree. So, this is a seven foot tree and this box is tiny. So, Mark thinks it's hilarious and thinks I'm gonna have a seven inch tree and not a seven foot tree. So, um, let's, Let's open this box and see what see what we get. That's aggressively green. This is not a seven foot tree. What the heck? That is definitely not the seven feet. What? I think I got scammed. Oh my god. This is like AstroTurf. It's terrible. Oh my god. This tree is trash. Like trash. So I think I'm gonna use it kind of like as a Charlie Brown Christmas tree for my house. I'm gonna go get our old reliable out of my garage as well as all the ornaments you guys have given me over the years. I'm gonna set it up because it is literally the sheepishly me Christmas tree. So this, this ain't it. You're the mom. You're mom. Yeah. Yeah, it's mom. Oh, you look just like your mom. 
Yeah, this is really tiny. It's not alive. You needed another week or two, buddy. So Mama had four. Two not alive. Two very much alive. Are you thirsty again? How are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. A little quieter. Hi, you're so white. Oh, you're so cute. You are just a dovey. Hi, little dovey. Oh, you're so cute. Well, it is uh, eight o'clock maybe. I'm not even really sure. I'm going to just top my itty bitty up again. If I get another, if I get a hundred into her, that would be amazing. She looks pretty spry right now. And these two are really quiet and they were pretty ch chirpy when I left. They both drank a hundred mils. So they are good, I would say. I may just see if they'll drink just to make sure, but um, I think they're off to the races for the night and mom's full of milk. Mm -hmm.